The spirit I have seen may be a devil, and the devil hath power to assume a pleasing shape. Yea, and perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, as he is very potent with such spirits, abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this. The play is the thing, wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. More from Hamlet. Alright, folks, welcome back to Alter Ego Mail. This time we're going to hurry through so that we can finish this up. Alright, let's try and get some more money. Okay. So, I'm Mr. T. Overtree, and we are back, yeah. Things are becoming extremely stressful at work lately. You cannot find a single person capable of doing his or her job well, and there are time pressures and deadlines. You find yourself working overtime, and at the end of the day, you would like nothing more... You would like more than anything just to relax, but it's no use. The more you try to wind down after work, the more pressure gets to you. You are beginning to feel afraid that work has become such an overbearing responsibility that you will no longer be able to enjoy life. You can be depressed slash resigned or angry. Angry. You can face the fact that life probably won't change much or do something about it. Do something about it. That's the spirit. What will you do? You can change jobs. Take a nice stiff drink, or take a nice long vacation. Uh, a nice, uh, a nice long vacation. What a splendid idea! What will you be doing? A lot of sightseeing and other enjoyable activities during your vacation? Yes or no? Uh, no. Good. Just relax and take it easy. You don't want your vacation time to be more, to be too much like work. <laughs> Because of your fine vocational performance, you are singled out for your tremendous achievements and honored at an awards dinner hosted by your peers in the field. During the introduction to the award, you will receive the host notes that you are outstanding because of your ability to work with others, enriching the field, and exemplifying the most outstanding qualities of hard work, patience, and pride. You can be humble slash modest, embarrassed slash anxious, or proud. Uh, let me think. Um, what, what was the uh, uh, thing I can choose again? You can be humble, embarrassed, or proud. What is humble? Um, it's, it, it's humble. You're, you don't want to, um, uh, you, it's the opposite of being, like, egotistical and prideful. Oh, okay, so it is a good choice? Yeah. Yeah, do that one. You can make a long speech that will bore everyone, or you can make a short speech so you can get to the drinks. Uh, a long speech. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who is truly humble and modest should certainly not burden the audience with a long, bombastic speech. I guess you are oh, not yeah. as humble as you think you are, but that's okay. Tonight is your night, so enjoy. As the morning, it is the morning before an important day at work. As you are getting ready, you check... Your check begins to twitch cheek. I don't know why I said check. Begins to twitch rather noticeably. At first, the twitch feels like a mild tickle on your cheek. You don't give it much thought, but as time passes, it gets much worse. Soon, your eye become begins to blink uncontrollably at random intervals. You can be anxious slash afraid, calm, or angry. <laughs> angry. <laughs> you can not go to work, or you can try and do something about it. And do something about it. You are going to meet this problem head-on. The intensity of your personality certainly shows through here. Unfortunately, this intensity may be the very thing that brought on this symptom in the first place. What will you do? Wear dark glasses to hide it? See a doctor? Try to work the nervous habit into your everyday behavior? Uh, see a doctor. The doctor tells you that your tick is probably a nervous habit, brought on by stress. There is no telling how long it may last. Sometimes they become permanent. You will have to slow down and relax. You can take a vacation from work or continue as is. Uh, continue as is. The habit becomes worse. Before it gets better, it is not long before your nervous tick becomes an involuntary shoulder shrug, always occurring at the most inconvenient times. One day, while standing in a crowded elevator, you nearly injure three people with your uncontrollable ticks and body jerks. People begin to treat you as <laughs> if there is something seriously wrong with you. Your stubborn refusal uh, to take it easy has caused your problem to get worse. Not only do you have ticks related to stress, you now have ticks related to your self-consciousness about having ticks. Eventually, they subside, but not before causing you extreme anxiety and embarrassment. Hmm. Maybe next time you should take things a little more seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm <pro> <laughs> Wow. 
Alright, let's do some more stuff with your daughter. Did I lose my job? Well, you still have it, I think. You oh, awake okay. one morning in the confusion of being still in a daze. You remember? This is Sherry's wedding day. It is! Seriously, <laughs> so fast? Apparently. You hurry to get ready, making sure all the last minute arrangements are made. The ceremony is truly heartwarming. My children do grow up. My children do grow up fast. As you walk your beautiful daughter down the aisle, you can see the nods of approval and hear the chatter of relatives whispering their delight at this very happy occasion. A few more steps and she'll be gone forever. For a moment, you are filled with overwhelming sadness. Suddenly, you begin to think about the patter pattering of little feet running around the house again. A whole new generation of blessings is gone. It. A whole new generation of blessings to come. You say the word grandpa to yourself, not thinking about the age associated with it, and just the two words grand and father. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You could try to have another child, but I don't think that's going to work at your age. <laughs> oh, you can't do those? Um, Since married, obviously. All right. Try to have another child. Yeah, I, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> oh, okay. We're having another experience with your wife. Late at night, while you are still awake and Bridget is sleeping, you watch her lying peacefully on, with a wide smile on her face. You can stroke her hair gently and whisper, I love you, or you can turn over and go to sleep yourself. Turn over and go to sleep myself. <laughs> what a romantic devil. <laughs> <laughs> you and Bridget have had what many would consider a stormy marriage. <laughs> no crap. <laughs> Lately, Bridget has been thinking about this and has decided that things must change, or she wants out. She has given you the ult the ultimatum that she will not continue the marriage without some kind of marriage counseling. You can divorce her or go for marriage counseling. Uh, go for marriage counseling. <laughs> you want to keep this cycle of torment going for as long as possible. <laughs> After speaking with both of you, the counselor has found that there seems to be a lack of communication between you. Yeah, okay. First off, this is the worst counselor ever. You know what the real problem is? You hate your wife! <laughs> That's the problem. As far as Bridget is yeah. concerned, she tends to get resentful rather than express her true feelings. You also have trouble expressing your feelings. Over the course of the marriage counseling, the following things are revealed. You have not been the most trustworthy husband that you can be. No shit. You're a gruff and hostile at times. No shit. Which frightens your wife. No shit. And makes her angry and resentful. Now that everything is out in the open, you can call out the whole thing as a bunch of nonsense or express a desire to change. Um, call it the nonsense. <laughs> your wife is probably going to divorce you if you make this choice. Are you sure? Uh... She might not. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I want to make it. All right. <laughs> this stranger has no right to claim that you have been have these characteristics. Even if what the counselor says were true, you feel as if you were <laughs> siding with your wife. You feel as if he were siding with your wife. The incident is a disaster. The outcome is a long, angry divorce trial. <laughs> All right. That's it. No, I'm not You have lost single. your wife. Yep. Can you have a family experience? Uh. Nope. All right. Okay. You are single again. Well, hopefully we get the chance to meet another one. <laughs> another woman you can torment. Oh, good. Let's do them some <laughs> health ones to show how old you are. <laughs> Lately, you have been feeling sharp twinges of pain, lo localized in the stomach. The pain arrives about an hour or two after eating, but disappears completely when you put something into your stomach. You yeah. can panic. Uh, be concerned or be calm. Um, be calm. You can go to the doctor or wait for it to pass. And go to the doctor. The doctor tells you that you are developing heartburn after every time you eat, probably because you rush through your meals. He gives you some antiacids and tells you to watch your eating habits. Oh, okay. Whatever hair you have left is rapidly turning gray. You can be depressed or unconcerned. Um, uh, depressed. You can get your hair dyed, ask for advice, or do nothing. Uh, ask for advice. Who will you ask? Your wife? Uh, yeah, I can't do that anymore. Your male friend or your female friend? Uh, my fe female friend. 
Your female friend encourages you to do anything that will make you feel better. She cleverly points out that many of the male fashion models and actors dye their hair to keep their youthful appearances. Will you dye it anyway? Uh, yes. Terrific! Now go out there and knock them dead. Mm. Some back-breaking labor has to be done in your home over the next few days. The chore is unpleasant, but more... But important, no one will, who lives with you is willing to help. No one lives with you. Your daughter's married and your wife left you. Wow, <laughs> did that sound mean? <laughs> anyway, you can be resentful or determined. I'm determined. You can do it or pay someone else to do it. Uh, pay someone else to do it. Got plenty of money. You are determined mm -hmm. to avoid this kind of strenuous work at this point in your life. And why not? <laughs> You have quite a bit of money stashed away. Terrible credit rating, but quite a bit of money. You can afford it. After all, you can't take it with you. The cost of the job is one is uh, $1,200. Will you pay the $1,200 or do it yourself now that you know the cost? Uh, pay them. Peace of mind is expensive these days, but worth it. You could have really gotten hurt. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. This kid. Maybe that was a good choice. Since you are getting on in years, your friends suggest that a physical exercise program might be beneficial to you. A health club might not be a bad idea. You can be interested or not interested. Interested. Join health club or not? Join. The price of a membership is $500. Would you care to join? Yes. After a week of sweating and toiling, you feel worse than when you began. Do you honestly think you can keep up with this? Definitely. Yes. Of course you can. <laughs> you certainly have the self-discipline needed for sticking to a rig rigorous exercise program. How about joining a nice aerobics class to get your heart in shape? <laughs> yes or no? Uh, yes. The class is full of women at least 15 years your junior. Hmm. Wendy is fond of wearing exercise togs that are cut low in the front and high on the sides. Getting in <laughs> shape might be more fun than you think. And a one bounce and a two bounce at the end of a six week program your body looks terrific but you will need a strong eyeglass prescription from the optical strain ah uh, awesome all right we'll do an intelligence one as you advance vocationally you must leave your old responsibilities to various different people on your next move forward you are notified that a woman full of new ideas techniques and strategies is about to fill your old position she will not be be placed without your approval. Your interview with her for the position, and she comments that while she feels you did a good job where you were, she plans on doing a better one. She sees your skills in that, air, in that area that you are about to leave as limited and old-fashioned, due to no fault of your own, but times are changing, you know. You can be angry or calm. Angry. You can recommend that someone else do the job, or recommend that she is hired. Uh, someone that's doing the job. You are asked to explain why you don't want her to do the job. What will you say? I just don't uh, like her. She is too aggressive. She is about to ruin all my work. She is meddling with established success. Uh, she's meddling with established success. You see it as messing. Everyone else sees it as improving on something that is already good, but whose time has passed. What will you do? Be stubborn and insist that she not be hired or give in. Um, take the last one. It is clear that this really isn't your decision at all. The fact that people wanted your input was just a courtesy. Now that you have given in, how do you feel? Angry? Furious? Or better? Furious. I can understand anger, but your fury makes you seem like a bad sport. <laughs> No, you were turned into a crotchety old man who hates everyone, and I like it. <laughs> Your father's eyesight is beginning to fail him, and his reflexes are not as quick as they used to be. However, he refuses to turn in his driver's license. Although he rarely drives, when he does, he is an absolute menace. You are sure that he will wind up killing either, in either himself or an innocent person. You can be sympathetic, angry, or unconcerned. Angry too angry. <laughs> Tell him that he must give up his license, emphasize, empathize, and try to reason with him, or do not bother yourself with it. Uh, say that he must give up his license. 
The anger that you are expressing comes partially from the fact that we are uncomfortable seeing our parents as vulnerable, even in an old age. It generally makes us feel helpless and weak ourselves. You may get angry, but eventually the anger subsides. Your father understands that his reflexes are not in tip-top shape, but he is ter terribly afraid of becoming dependent and a burden. Your family relationship thus far suggests that this is not likely to happen. Still, there is sadness accompanying the thought of a once powerful person growing older and weaker, and that before long you will be at that stage too. Hmm. Awesome. <laughs> well, not that <laughs> awesome, but whatever. Um, I don't uh, okay. have the timer set, but I will, but I think it's about over. So, let's call it a break for this part of Let's Play Alter Ego Mail. I've been Zach yeah. Sleegus' Inc., and we'll see you back in the next part, and hopefully we'll finish up Middle Adulthood. Okay, thanks so much, Shane. Alright, see you later, folks. Kiss, kiss. Please during your vacation? Yes or no? Uh, no. Good, just relax and take it easy. You don't want your vacation time to be to be too much like work. Mm -hmm. Because of your fine vocational performance, you are singled out for your tremendous achievements and honored at an awards dinner hosted by your peers in the field. During the introduction to the award, you will receive the host notes that you are outstanding because of your ability to work with others, enriching the field, and exemplifying the most outstanding qualities of hard work, patience, and pride. You can be humble slash modest, embarrassed slash anxious, or proud. Uh, let me think. Um, what, what was the uh, uh, thing I can choose again? You can be humble, embarrassed, or proud. What is humble? Um, it's it, it's humble. You're you don't want to be depressed slash resigned or angry. Angry. You can face the fact that life probably won't change much, or do something about it. Do something about it. That's the spirit. What will you do? You can change jobs, take a nice stiff drink, or take a nice long vacation. Uh, a nice, uh, a nice long vacation. What a splendid idea! What well, will you be doing? A lot of sightseeing and other enjoyable activities. The spirit I have seen may be a devil, and the devil hath power to assume a pleasing shape. Yea, and perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, as he is very potent with such spirits, abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this. The play is the thing, wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. More from Hamlet. Alright folks, welcome back to Alter Ego Mail. This time we're going to hurry through so that we can finish this up. Alright, let's try and get some more money. Okay. So, I'm in City over three, and we are back, yeah. Things are becoming extremely stressful at work lately. You cannot find a single person capable of doing his or her job well, and there are time pressures and deadlines. You find yourself working overtime, and at the end of the day, you would like nothing more... You would like more than anything just to relax, but it's no use. The more you try to wind down after work, the more pressure gets to you. You are beginning to feel afraid that work has become such an overbearing responsibility that you will no longer be able to enjoy life. <laughs> 